All right, folks, this week, let's get that spindle going. We got the three axes working with the closed loop steppers, but now I still have no spindle action. I've got my positive and negative DC wires right here. So I need to go ahead and hook those up to all this good stuff right here. My um, treadmill control board, this choke. I'm gonna go ahead and put a clamp to keep this wire right here. And then I'm gonna run these little guys. This is what converts that PWM signal from Linux CNC to a zero to 12 volt analog signal that goes into the motor driver and makes all this work. So hopefully you folks don't mind me just kind of checking in here periodically, but I am super done with this project and I want to get it done tonight and I don't have a lot of time. So I'm trying to kind of give you updates as how I go, but I don't really have a lot of time to be filming constantly and, and that sort of thing. So, so I went ahead and I mounted everything and it doesn't look great, but it's going to be a work in progress. I'm definitely not done with my spindle stuff. So just took some screws, mounted this guy to the board mounted this guy and then this one's mounted and I don't know why but this week I want to call everything a hack so one of my hacks that I do is if you got kids you've probably got some of these beads around my house we call them melty beads they're the ones that you just like make a cool design on a like a pegboard um, or like a I don't know what do you call that like a little pokey board piece of plastic and then you iron it there we go. So you can see underneath that board, I've got one right there. So I use those as standoffs. Um, if your kids are younger and they've got the bigger beads around, they're even better. That's what I'm using underneath this board. Those ones work great. And so just, just one of those things, I, I don't think it costs any less or any more. It's probably about the same as what a normal set of standoffs would cost. But you got to buy them a lot of times, buy like the 100 pack. And so if you've got these just sitting around, just steal some from your kids, you know? All right, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start wiring the rest of this stuff up. I've just got to um, solder up some wires that'll run from my uh, DB25 board over to, or my breakout board, over to this little um, chip that I had made. And then my spindle should be back in business, so fingers crossed. All right, folks, so I know I kind of skipped around a little bit. Um, just big rush to get this thing done. I, I've got a job that I need to, to get started on. So I got her on the wall. She's not the prettiest thing in the world still. Um, the wire right here, I still need to shorten. That's just the spindle wire, and that'll help a lot when that's out of the way. Spindle wire, that's a spindle motor wire. Sorry, I'm tired, it's almost 11 o'clock tonight. Got it on the wall. Um, you see right there, I don't have small enough screws to mount that little board, so it's just kind of chilling out, but everything else is mounted. Um, I think it turned out pretty well overall. I mean, I could definitely clean it up a little bit, get some, some type of wire bundling and that kind of thing, and um, brackets and stuff to hold like that big, huge harness on the right out of the way and everything. And so that'll end up going in loom if I, if I keep it in this configuration for any amount of time. But for now, everything's working. I just fired up Linux CNC and I went ahead and moved all my axes. Uh, everything moves, everything's happy. And then I can turn my spindle on and it's happy. So I think at this point, all I really need to worry about is shortening those wires going to the um, spindle motor. And then, uh, yeah, should be good to go. I should be able to run some parts. So, oh, and then I wanna go ahead and put my, my little rubber treadmill <laughs> piece of rubber back on there to guard my um, Z axis. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and do that before I run any parts. So I went ahead and tidied up all my good stuff. I got my, um, spindle wires cleaned up. So I added some strain relief right here. I, I wanted to make sure that when the spindle went up and down, it wouldn't chafe against this column here. And so now it seems to be working pretty good. So you can see the wire just kind of chills out with it. 
So I'm pretty happy with that. I also put my uh, piece of treadmill material on there. Um, it looks like it'll work, but I will tell you when, when you get to the bottom here, that piece kind of flops out onto the table quite a bit. So I don't know, it, I could trim it up like another half inch or so, but other than that, it's pretty much as short as it can go. Um, I wasn't even able to cover the X, oh, not the X, wow, that's late. Um, I wasn't able to cover the Z and the back part of the Y like I had originally wanted to. I had to leave the Y on here because when it was that long to cover both, it was getting all over where the spindle would be hitting it. So that was kind of a bummer. I got to have two pieces there. Uh, I don't really know a good solution other than to use the this stuff that's like an accordion. But that may be why they never put one there in the first place. All right, so that's it for this week. I want to say kudos again to Stepper Online. Um, link is in the description for the exact closed loop steppers that I've got, um, as well as stepper drivers. I bought them as a single axis kit and then bought just quantity three. Um, if I had to do it again, I would definitely throw in the harnesses. There, I'll also have a link for those in the description so you can buy all those and you're ready to go. Just add a power supply and a breakout board. So they are the nicest things I've seen, which I guess I haven't seen too much, but compared to what I took off the mill, they are much nicer and I am super excited to get to work with them. Shout out to those guys. So far, awesome uh, customer service. I've had to ask them a couple questions through email. Um, they've gotten back to me very quickly and good product so far. So I'm excited to be, to be running their steppers. So check them out and I will see you next week.